Do you want to ease the analog simulation challenge in mixed signal SOC designs? Here is a video that focuses on the use of real number models that helps you to ease mixed signal verification and cadence training courses on real number models that are key to implementing it. Today's verification task is growing exponentially that it's a daunting task. The top level mixed signal SOC verification is challenging because it encompasses both analog and digital IP blocks at different levels of abstraction. So support for different levels of abstraction for full chip verification is mandatory in a SOC. The blocks could be represented in schematics or spice net lists or analog behavioral models or pure digital models. Running top level SOC verification using the SPICE and Verilogue models with analog solvers takes a longer time and may also cause convergence problems. So what can you do to solve this problem in full chip verification and how can you speed up the simulation without losing the accuracy of analog circuits? Here is a solution, the real number modeling methodology. You can replace all the analog and mixed signal blocks with real number models. These real number models are a digital equivalent model of an analog block that allows you to verify the SOC functionality using only the digital simulators in the DMS environment. The DMS is nothing but digital mixed signal environment introduced by Cadence to enable make signal verification very close to digital speeds using real number models. It targets high performance make signal verification to enable full chip verification. Now, what is real number modeling and how can you create these models? Real number modeling is a signal flow based approach that uses real values to represent current or voltage in discrete time. Here you model analog block operation as a discrete real data. Next, it provides a fast way to run a chip level simulation with analog values. Then it allows you to run a digital simulation in the DMS environment, removing the use of an analog solver. In addition to allowing digital simulation speeds, Real number modeling lets designers use digital verification techniques such as assertions, coverage, and metric-driven verification. Here is an example of a simple linear amplifier model for which an analog model is represented with these statements involving matrix entries plus those from all connected devices to solve for the values of all node voltages and branch currents. While a discrete real model is very simple, defined by this equation, where the output is computed whenever the input changes. Now, how do you create these real models? Are you keen in learning about real number modeling? Depending upon the language of your choice, Cadence Education Services offers two courses on real number modeling. The real modeling with Verilog EMS is a two day course covering the WREAL features of Verilog AMS language. Here, WREAL is via real, representing a real-valued physical connection in Verilog AMS standard. It has a lot of current specific extensions beyond the Verilog AMS LRM restrictions for creating real number models. Then the real modeling with System Verilog is another two-day course covering about the real variables in System Verilog and the real number modeling capabilities supported in IEEE 2012 like net types, UDT, UDRs, and interconnects. So register now to take these classes and have a fulfilling learning experience about the real number modeling that helps you to tackle mixed signal verification challenges.